gold has reached an all-time high and I'm buying as much as I can guys and you should too so let's check my recent stack my recent entire gold collection what I bought new just right after the intro <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gentleman Premium Review. Thank you very much for tuning in and today we're going to talk about gold. And as you can see, this is my entire stack and um, it has been a long time guys, so bear with me. First of all, happy Easter to all the people around the world. I hope you enjoy a good time with your families. And uh, today is Sunday and uh, the 31 of March 2024. And I thought about doing a video and um, as you know guys, um, I like gold, I like silver and uh, check out my other videos because I'm talking about silver and many other things too. Check down below the ticker about the recent gold and silver price and of course Bitcoin just uh, to let you know guys. So why are we talking about gold today because I like to show you my stack and uh, as you know guys I can't do so much videos. I see a lot of channels they like, doing daily videos for the algorithm to keep up on YouTube. I can do it because the game is rigged and you need to do videos every day. The good thing is the very first videos are also good and creative but when you do 20 videos or 30 videos it gets stale. You can't come up with something new so I like to keep my time. I don't do it here for money guys because I'm independent. I do it for fun and as you can see on my comment section and 542 subscribers, loyal and good subscribers, they're always giving me good, good, good quality of comments. So I'm not this uh, guy who's making daily videos because uh, the algorithm is too strong. I'm honest with you guys. And uh, so I like to do this for fun. And uh, I'm, I like buying silver like every week and sometimes gold. It is like an addiction, guys. So why I'm talking about um, first of all, let me show you this nice American Gold Eagle proof. As you know guys, when you have seen my videos, I bought this I guess like last year or I guess two years ago, I'm not sure. And um, gold is healing. Gold is good for our soul. If you have sometimes a bad day, just hold your stack, get it out and uh, see what you have accomplished. It really gives you a sense of warmth and that you have accomplished something. Right now the price for gold is like 200 and, uh, 2,250 bucks. It's incredible guys. And uh, if you are a silver holder, um, just keep cool guys. Um, I do also have silver and I'm not into the shtick like uh, oh it doesn't move silver prices don't move just gold is moving silver will have its day too I'm pretty sure so um, and of course it's nice to see that gold is um, having an all-time high it is really amazing so it is an addiction and I remember guys for the last couple of weeks and months I, I was <laughs> checking out eBay for good deals and I want to show you something guys Let's start with the Noah's Ark. I was uh, buying like um, silver coins from from uh, Romania. It is a R Romania mint, and uh, I was seeing the design and I was doing my research. And uh, actually, it's a really nice coin. As you can see, Noah's Ark, Republic of Armenia, a million bullion coin from 2024. I really like the design. Look at this eagle and. Is it a lion, I guess? Fantastic gold coin. I got it for, I guess, 85 euros. Not sure about that. Um, I like the box. It is also a certificate. And um, it is made in Germany. The mint director, of course, as you can see. Uh, and done for Armenia. It's really nice coin. I mean, look at this. Check out my latest uh, silver video. Uh, there I show you also the silver version of this, but it's so funny. It is a tiny coin as you can see for 85 euros Really nice and of course I like doing such deals and um, I was also buying I hope you can see it guys. It's really tiny. I guess Not sure. It's like 120 of a Wiener Philharmonica coin 
on the picture of course when you buy it from eBay it's huge but at the end it is really a, it is a tiny coin I did a mistake to be honest with you I mean sure gold is gold sadly the zoom is not coming out here pretty well guys bear with me I mean gold is gold but um, it is way too tiny I mean it's a beautiful Vina Philharmonica but uh, I said to myself uh, I won't do this I guess it's uh, let me check here is it a one tenth of an ounce or one twenty? Oh no, <laughs> it is a one twenty-five ounce. It is way too small, way too small, and this was my mistake. So the zoom is working out. I mean, it's a really nice coin. I, I really love it. I love the design of the Vienna Philharmonica. Um, there we go, guys. But it is way too tiny, and I, I tried to put it in a capsule. So uh, it was my mistake. On the picture when you buy it from eBay you think it's a nice little coin but it is way too tiny, way too tiny. And I will show you something what, what's more tiny. <laughs> I was buying a Chinese panda and I have never, I mean again on the picture it looks, it, re it really looks fine. I love the panda and this is so small. I mean I, what comparison can I give you guys? Um, let's let's take out a um, one of the gold bars I mean it's a design of a credit card as you know so this is a 5 gram bar of gold great German Hafner gold and then you compare it with a little panda and as you can see it is really tiny guys small like a nipple uh, well maybe a little bigger but uh, it is way too 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 tiny so it was my mistake I I have no clue how much I paid um, I, I don't have the price in mind but I love doing having um, from uh, a coin from China I mean it looks nice the panda you know really nice and um, I guess it's one gram yeah it's one gram and uh, it was my second mistake but as you know guys gold is gold I kept it in the blister so that's fine so I will never buy again tiny gold at least it must be like I have shown you guys before it must be um, one fourth of an ounce like uh, the maple leaf the Canadian maple leaf for example it's one fourth of an ounce hope you can see it guys I tried to zoom it in and the Krugeron same stuff this is something I can play with this is something I can work with. As you can see, Krügerrand and the Canadian maple leaf, one fourth of an ounce. This is something I like to hold. It's a really nice um, size for me, especially if you can afford one ounce. This is something you can play with. And one tenth ounce. I haven't bought a one tenth ounce so far, but. Um, this happened to me and to, to, to don't make it longer as it turns uh, I bought also a um, Royal Mint coin also way too tiny but let's forget about it one gold coin I wanted to collect is of course one one amazing from Switzerland I hope you know it guys it's the so-called Vreneli coin so this is a 10 Franken Freneli coin. I always look to get one of these coins, guys. Um, I don't know why. I like Switzerland. I like the country. They are really strict. They have nice chocolate. They have nice mountains. And um, I don't know. There's something about this country, and uh, they are so accurate and strict. And I said, I said, uh, I have seen this in so many channels. I think it's a really nice coin. So 10, fr 10 franken. And also here, I had the impression that it is way too tiny. Not, not way too tiny. But let's fr let's check the design first. As you can see, there is a nice cross. You have 10 uh, franken from 1922. Isn't it amazing, guys? This is why I love gold. A coin like more than 100 years old 102 years old and there you have the the face it says Helvetia and it is amazing 
And I bought this for, let, let me don't, let me think, I guess it was like 200 euro. And there is, of course, a 20 franken version. And what happened to me on, on, on eBay, I was bidding on one of these coins. And I didn't knew that I have one. But on my computer, it doesn't give me the success alert that I have won. And I was mad, so I went to another... Um, because the coin dealer has like 10 of these or 20, I don't, I don't know, it was a lot. And I was bidding on a second one. And what happened at the end, congratulations, you have won. Uh, you, you have um, bid on two coins. <laughs> and they were for like 402 euros each. So I needed to pay like 800 and four for each and I said okay I like to buy gold anyway so each month I need I need gold so um, yeah sometimes you need to check on your computer guys but anyway look at this coins guys it is so beautiful it is really beautiful the Swiss um, Freneli coins 20 franken as you can see there is a huge cross and these coins are from 1947 there is a B as a letter on the left side and on the right side too. And when we turn it, you can see also the face. It says Helvetia. And also when I try to zoom in, um, I try to look Landry. It says Landry at the very bottom. F dot Landry. Need to check out what that's all about. But it's so beautiful guys. And this is why I love gold. There is something about this. It is so special. And as you can see guys, when I put this, I hold like thousand euros, thousand bucks in my hands. And this is, it is amazing. This is why I love gold. So you have the 10 franken and the 20. And um, that's, that's so, so, so amazing. But as I, I, I will stay by this, one of the best gold coins I do have, I mean, each and everyone has its special opinion about this, but the American Gold Eagle is unmatched. As you can see on the right side, we have the proof, and on the left side, the regular one. It is amazing. It is. It, it does so well. As I'm saying on my silver video, if you have a bad day, no, it was at the very beginning of this video. If you have a bad day, take out your gold stack, your entire gold stack, and just hold it in your hand. It does give you a relief holding that much money in your in your hand knowing when something bad is happening you can go to your coin dealer and just sell it you know and you're good to go in your daily life because many people can't afford to collect like $100 check it out on, on, on Google and on the news many people are so much in debt um, they can't collect like uh, a found of uh, security found when something bad is happening they don't have any money but they like to spend money on uh, the latest gadgets smartphones and uh, it's really sad and you need to have a security fund this is my security fund guys the good uh, the good precious metal the good gold it is unmatched I really like it and of course I do have my my bars my, my gold bars I guess I was showing it to you like the last time. It is also something very special here. We do have the gold bar, like 10 grand. And many people are discussing, hey, what what, what gram should I buy? You know, so um, I, I was starting. My very first gold was the one gram from Hafner. I was buying this for I guess like uh, 63 euros and I was checking the prices today it was like when you buy these right now you can get these for 85 euros 85 dollars and you can see what's good about gold I was buying them two years ago and the price has risen and uh, as I was saying guys always think in decades try to keep them at least 10 years and see what happens with the price try to write down your your buy price and the date I do have an Excel sheet where I um, try to uh, keep how much uh, money I was spending on gold and then I was checking about the, the price of, uh, of today and you can see that there is always um, something in your advantage that the price has risen 
So I can always say guys, um, if you are thinking about buying one gram, do it. It's, it's nothing wrong. Sure, you will buy them for a premium, but um, I like one gram gold bars. I like them a lot. So, um, yeah, what do we have here? As you know from my previous video, guys, 2.5 gram Degusa gold bars. They are really special. So, um, this is um, what I can say about this. One of my highlights from the latest one, as again, was the Swiss Freneli. I know many people around the world can do something about European coins, but um, if you are very knowledgeable about gold, you, you know that this is also a very nice piece of gold. And um, it's so special, guys. And the fact that you can go to a gold shop or even sell it privately and then you get your cash, pff, it's amazing. So you don't spend money on, on, on things you don't need, guys. So uh, this is like having your own bank. Such a beautiful coin. So much royalty, nice fonts. Look at the 20. It's from an era. 1947 it's crazy guys I guess we had like World War two at this time and you hold some history here nice gold it won't vanish gold like we do have like 18,000 years guys so um, yeah that's it for today guys just wanted to show you my gold stack trying to push up this channel so if you see this and you like it so uh, subscribe to this channel because I will always tell you something about what's going on in this area concerning about good life investment and keeping it cool with uh, spending money and always spend your money for good things of course we need to enjoy life but uh, stacking gold stacking silver is very important guys you don't know what's coming up in these crazy times so uh, you will always be an advantage having gold and silver not telling everybody and um, just do your thing guys don't listen to the people, don't listen too much what's going on in the news because it is such, uh, it makes you crazy in the head. Life should be simple, just stack your gold, go to the gym, be healthy, uh, enjoy a good life, have good friendships, good relationships with yourself and, and, and others and try to be discreet, don't tell people about what you are holding or playing with crypto or stuff like that. Act like a poor guy, act like Bill Gates, act like Bill, uh, Warren Buffett, you know. They still have their old cars, they don't flex around. And this is what you should also do, guys. Don't flex around too much, be discreet, because you can't trust nobody in these times. And um, just trust yourself, do your own thing, and it will help you in the long term, and nobody will disappoint you. This is a price I'm willing to pay. And that's it for today, guys. I thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it and see you very soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.